This is our uh, GTE 5 PSI electronic supercharger. Uh, the supercharger kit comes with the following pieces, uh, starting with the turbine itself. As you can see, this is the turbine. It's uh, made out of uh, metal. It spins freely. It comes with two couplers. Uh, the single coupler is used basically on uh, uh, open air bices and also on short ram intakes. Uh, you can utilize this coupler if you actually have a cold air intake. So that way uh, you don't have to uninstall the intake to install this supercharger. It also comes with the cone air filter. Uh, it basically mimics the K&N brand. Uh, and also a full relay harness. The relay harness is completely plug and play. There's no need for splicing. Uh, there's no need for soldering or anything like that. They also come with uh, clamps and installation instructions that come with the kit. So basically everything that you'll need to make this installation happen. We started the installation by installing the turbine. As you can see right here, one clamp holds it in place. And basically once you install the turbine, you can go ahead and install the air filter. And the air filter slides right over the turbine. And then once you do so, you'll go ahead and tighten out the clamp. And next all you have to do is uh, wire the relay harness itself. This is the relay harness that comes with a supercharger. Uh, we spread it out so that way you guys have a, a better idea of where everything goes to. Obviously you have the relay box. It has a, it has a small bracket that you can basically just uh, place on any firewall where an existing bolt is. Uh, first you have these two wires that come from the harness, from the relay box, and that wire just connects directly to the supercharger. Uh, pretty simple install on that. Once it's plugged in, that's, that's all you need to do there. Um, then you have these two wires right here. Obviously, pretty simple. You have the positive and negative. Those will basically go to the battery. A positive on a positive, a negative on a negative. And last but not least, from the relay, you have these two wires which go to the switch. Now this switch can be either ran through the firewall into the inside so that way you can ignite uh, the uh, supercharger or you can basically have it mounted to where it goes right next to the butterfly so that way whenever you put the gas pedal to the floor it automatically basically engages the supercharger as well. Now we'll go ahead and install the, re the, the harness completely and we'll show you the end result uh, with the supercharger engaged. Okay, uh, now we have the harness installed on the supercharger. As you can see, the uh, plug going from the supercharger, we had it going all the way across to the battery terminals. Um, uh, we have the amp installed right here on the side of the wall. We have the uh, positive and the negatives connected to the battery. And then we also have the switch running through the firewall to the interior of the truck. Um, uh, once you engage the switch, It'll automatically engage the supercharger. If I take the filter off, we can see basically once we engage the supercharger, uh, how it looks like. Go ahead and engage the supercharger. As you can see, very powerful, five pounds boost. Uh, it gains you anywhere between 20 to 35 horsepower, depending on your engine size. Very easy installation.